In Excel 365, you can use the pivot by function to create a quick summary of some data. In this one, I've got regions down the rows, years across the columns, and in the middle, I've got quantities and a sum of each quantity. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. I'm going to show four examples of what you can do with pivot by just using the four required arguments that it has, which is a row field, column field, value, and the function that you want to use. So I'm going to build the one I showed a minute ago for region, year, quantity, and sum. And in this cell, I'm going to start by typing equals pivot by. The first thing we want is row fields. And I'm going to data that I have in this workbook. It's food sales for a fictional company. And the first thing I want to summarize by is region. And if I click the column heading here, we can see the table name and column name, but I also want to include the heading. It's not inside these marching ants right now. I'll click again, and now it says all, which means the heading is included. I'll type a comma. And the next thing we want is the column field. We want years across the top. So I'm going to click the year heading and I have to click twice to include that heading. All the ranges that I'm selecting have to be the same size, a comma. The next thing we need is the value that we want summarized. I'll click quantity twice, comma, and a function that we want to use. And there's a list here. I'm going to go with sum. I'll double click that, close the bracket, and press enter. So now we have a quick summary with region down the rows, years across the top, and a sum of quantity at each intersection. We also have the totals across and down. For the next example, I'm going to use two fields for the rows, year and quantity again, and a different function. So in this cell, I'll type equals pivot by. The row fields, I'll go back to my table. I want region and category. They're side by side in the data, so I can just select across. It's more complicated if you wanted to use fields that aren't side by side. So I'm going to double click and drag across. We can see all region to category, then a comma. Across the top, I want year with a double click and a comma, then quantity, double click. And finally, the function this time, I'm going to use count. Double click, close the bracket, and press enter. And so there's the table with regions listed alphabetically, categories alphabetical within each region. And then we can see a count of how many bars were sold in the West in 24. We've got totals across the bottom and down the rows. For the third example, I'm going to go back to using one row field one column, but two values to see what happens. So in this cell, again, start with equals pivot by. For the row fields, we want region with a double click, the comma, year with a double click and comma. Again, I'm choosing two value fields that are side by side. So I can double click and drag across a comma. And for this, I'll use sum, press enter. And there's the pivot table with regions. And now each year is repeated. The quantity is in the first column and the number of orders, a sum of that count is in the second column. And at the bottom, each year is totaled. For the final example, I'll use one row, two columns, one value and the max function. I'll start with equals pivot by. For the row field, I'll go to my data and choose category with a double click comma. I want two column fields. This time it's going to be year and region and they're side by side. So it'll be easy to select both double click and drag across comma. Again, quantity with a double click comma. And for this one, I'm going to use max close the bracket. 
enter, and there's the table. We've got all the categories and a total. We've got both regions for each year, east and west, across, and then totals down this column. To try these formulas for yourself, you can get the Excel file on my Contextures site. Just go to the Pivot By page.